June 6, 2008. From Atlanta, I'm Brad Fallon. Welcome to the Free Line. First up, remember the days when net zero really cost nothing and all you had to do was watch ads to get free internet access? Well, those days might be coming back on steroids. Currently, the FCC is toying with the idea of auctioning a portion of the 25 megahertz spectrum with a free provision. This would mean that whoever buys the spectrum is forced to provide high-speed internet access free of charge. Now, we won't know for certain until June 12th. That's when the FCC meets and votes on this idea. But the idea could be right in time, since Time Warner Cable has decided to start metering their bandwidth, charging people a dollar for every gigabyte they go over their allotted amount. This might not sound like much, but if you watch a lot of video on the internet, it could add up very fast. Right now, this is actually in a trial period in Texas, but it's expected to branch out to the rest of their subscriber base within the next few years. You know, a program that could definitely get you in trouble with Time Warner Cable is the new Microsoft Silverlight. This alternative to Flash lets you stream movies and play video games that can gobble up bandwidth faster than you can say BitTorrent. And they've just recently announced support for Ruby on Rails, the programming language that makes developing web applications easier, but not necessarily better, just as Twitter. Next, in the internet marketing world, we've been seeing a lot of product launches lately. Well, this week, my buddy Mike Filsame, who, by the way, is a really great internet marketer that you should pay attention to, is giving away a really cool huge report and mind map series from his $5,000 workshop and it's all free. Definitely follow the link and check it out. And now, even Firefox is getting in on the whole product launch formula. In fact, Firefox is gunning for the Guinness Book of World Records for most software downloaded in 24 hours. They've announced download day for the release of Firefox 3. I just hope it doesn't break GTD Inbox that we told you about the other day. That's a cool plugin. And finally, one of the coolest applications to run on a web browser, whether it's Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Safari, is the new unofficial Google Shell. Called Goosh, this Unix-style command line interface is the brainchild of Stefan Grothkop. You just type in search terms, and Goosh brings you information from Google in real time. That's what I call using the internet in new and interesting ways. I can't wait to see what the technical types start doing with this. Well, that's the Freeline Report for this week. I'm Brad Fallon. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you Monday. For Web 2.0 news you can use in 2.0 minutes, visit FreelineReport.com.